Hi guys, Chisman98 here from BGL Media and welcome to this clash between the Sydney Swans and the Carlton Blues from Eddie Ed Stadium. Um, now today I've just got a few topics to talk about. Um, so yeah, why don't we just get straight into it and you guys can just watch the match in the background. So that would be beautiful. Anyway, first, uh, first point for me is the, about the Adam Goods incidents. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone's heard of how Adam Goods has been racially abused last week, last Friday night, against uh, when they were facing Collingwood. A 13-year-old girl called him an ape, which I, uh, I'll tell you my personal opinion on it. People may say that it's not offensive, just toughen up, but no one actually knows unless you're actually... Unless you're actually Adam Goods, because he's the one who's taking offence to it, quite obviously. Uh, it's obviously affected him in a way, and he's not just looking for um, looking for people to uh, notice him, because I'm pretty sure that that game put him on the notice list of everyone. Anyway, guys, also, uh, what's his name? Eddie Maguire. He also said something about King Kong, but I don't know all the details to that, so... I'm just going to move on now, but I'm just going to say, uh, turn it up. Uh, Collingwood supporters at the moment. Uh, not all of them, just the diehards and stuff like that. No offence, no offence to everyone. Everyone who's a Collingwood supporter. Anyway, now on to Tom Mitchell from the Sydney Swans. He is making his debut against Essendon, which will be beautiful. I'm very excited for it. Um, guys, this kid is a gun. He played he played in the Swans Reserves last week. And, and listen to this, all right? You ready? He gathered 56 disposals in the Swans Reserves. That's why he's been elevated up into the senior team for this match um, against Essendon. And hopefully he's going to have a very long career with the Sydney Swans. So I'm very excited for his debut. And he's a very, very talented young player at the moment so I'm very pleased to have him in the squad and as you all know I am a Swan supporter and I'm obviously coaching the Swans so bravo well done to you uh, Tommy Mitchell anyway now I'm just going to move on to some stuff about the BGL um actually no first I'll talk about the Swans versus Essendon match actually um, Swans vs Essendon, it's going to be a very, very good game from the SCG. I'm very keen for it, guys. I'm probably going to go, go, go to it. Should be very good. Um, I'm tipping the Swans. Oh, it's going to be very close. The Swans by nine points. That's my tip. The Swans by nine points. I know that's a pretty big call. Uh, just having it as the nine points because I went the tipping and I think it was like 87% to 13% uh, Swans way in the tips at the moment But I just think with all the players that are out of the team at the moment We may struggle to get a big win against Essendon Anyway, now let's uh, move on to who I think will be the flag favorite um, Well, yeah, who's my favorite for the flag in the BGL? I'm guessing Aaron Lowe and his Gold Coast Suns. He may be coming third. He's coming third at the moment. But um, I'll tell you what. He is a gun and he's just going to... Oh, sorry, not the Suns. Sorry, GWS. What am I saying? Aaron Lowe at GWS. But he will just slip under the radar. I'll watch him when it goes to the end of the season. He will be first. No, nah, second, I'd say, actually. He'll be coming second, I reckon. And I reckon he'll just nudge out Jared in a close one in the grand final. That's my prediction. Anyway, guys, you have a look at the scores right now. Carlton are really on top of my swannies, and I was getting nervous. And look at that lag. It's a bit atrocious there. But as you can see there, I believe it is 58 or 55 or something like that. It's 59 to 80 now, guys. This has got about 13, and 13 minutes and 40 seconds left, and I was losing... By 21 points, but Nick Nat got me a goal there, put, gave me a little bit of hope. But then Jared Waite had a snap out of the pack, but he hit the post. Oh, wow, if he kicked that, I'll tell you what. Anyway, straight from the kick out, I just got into the midfield, went down the ground with JJ Kennedy, and he just squeezed it home. And all of a sudden, I was like, I've got a sniff here. 
Guys, I've got a very good sniff. And then all of a sudden, Kurt Tippett gets the ball in the goal square. And he just turns around and bangs it. And all of a sudden, the scores are 77 to 81. Four points the margin. Only about six minutes 50 to go. Jetta gets the ball, runs away with it. He's got the pace. He goes along. He's going to miss it, but Goodsy takes the mark in the goal square. And I'll tell you what, he has banged it through. And what a turnaround. My Swannies boys kicked a goal um, to put us up by three points. And then Kurt Tippett, sorry, two points. Then Kurt Tippett snapped out of the pack, got a point, And that was where the game lied. And as you can see here, um, I won. 13 goals, 6 for 84 to, uh, is that 13, 3, I believe. I'm not sure my maths is pretty atrocious, but, uh, 81 to Carlton. As you can see there, a very, very tough match, a very, very good match. Any, anyway, as you can see there, it was very, very tight in the, the stats as well. Anyway, now let's move on to the live ladder at the moment. As you can see there, Gold Coast, Jared, Jared Dobler's, uh, Gold Coast Suns. Uh, smashing it with eight wins, zero losses, at a 294.26 percentage. He is absolutely smashing it. And then I've got my boys, the Sydney Swans, coming second. Love that. Six six wins, two losses. But the two losses, I believe, were to Gold Coast and JWS. So that's something I've got to I've got to really worry about there, I guess. Anyway, JWS, my the the team I tipped to win the flag. They're coming third, and to round out the top five, it's Fremantle and Carlton. That, that's going to be a close finish at the end of the year. I'll tell you what, it's going to be a beauty. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and uh, why don't we get broadcasting the cause to round this video up. Cheers, guys. This has been a BGL Media production.